Welcome to Better Health. I'm joined today by Beth Coker, our medical expert from Asante, and Dr. Jason West with Southern Oregon Cardiology. Thank you so much, both of you, for being here this morning. Thank you for having us. Very good. So our topic today is AFib, and we've got a lot of questions. Dr. West, you're here to kind of be our specialist and give us some information on AFib. First of all, if folks at home don't know what AFib is, can you kind of walk us through it? Absolutely. So AFib, it's a funny heart rhythm that comes from the upper part of the heart. It's very common, particularly as we get older, it becomes more and more common. It's a funny heart rhythm that's associated with lots of bad symptoms. It, it's one that really makes people feel lousy. Additionally, we care about it because it carries a significant risk of stroke. Okay, and it, it, you said that the age group sometimes plays into it, but young folks can, can get this too, right? Absolutely, okay. young folks can get this, not as commonly, but quite honestly, they feel really crummy when they get it. And I know you were mentioning before, it doesn't always mean that, uh, it's not always uh, a fatal thing, but it can make your quality of life a little less. Why do, we, why do we care so much about someone who has AFib? You bet. So with AFib, it's all about symptoms. It's about how the person feels and then a significant risk of stroke. So you mention symptoms often. What are some of the symptoms of atrial fibrillation? Very commonly, people feel palpitations or wild racing in their heart. They feel short of breath. They feel fatigue. They just feel crummy when they have it. All right, and as we're wrapping things up, what kind of treatment options are available for folks who might have, have AFib? Today, we have a lot of things we can do. So sometimes medication is the right answer. Sometimes surgery, catheter-based surgery is the solution. I think always the important part is to individualize the care. Look at the person in front of you and really do the right thing for them. It's always a pleasing thing for me to be able to sit down with someone and offer them the right thing for them. Wonderful, thank you so much. Beth, thank you for being here. Thank Dr. You. West, thanks so much.